I am here today with yet another YouTube Made Me Buy It. I just, I don't know. I love YouTube Made Me. I mean, I hate YouTube Made Me Buy It because I hate that YouTube makes me buy things. But, you know, that's just life. And here we are. And it's a bit of fun as well, right? It's a love-hate relationship. So, YouTube Made Me Buy This. Can you tell what it is? Of course you can't! Come on now. That was kind of rhetorical and kind of a mean question. Foundation. I got a couple different shades because I didn't know what it was going to be. Shade, anyways. I didn't know what my shade was going to be because I seem to be either between these shades slash I hate the lighting in Sephora because I don't know. I don't It's never right. The lighting is never right. You go in and you swatch something in Sephora and you're like, perfect! And then you walk out of Sephora into the rest of the mall and you're like, Orange! I got a couple different colors just to kind of cover the bases here. What is within these little pots, if you haven't read the title of the video yet. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Oh my gosh, this is like the OG of YouTube made me buy it. I mean, I'm talking five, six years ago. This is what was hyped in the beauty community. Everyone used NARS Sheer Glow along with MAC eyeshadows. Like, that was just the thing. You didn't question it. You just used it. Well, I haven't ever tried it, and... Hello, Galileo. I haven't tried it because I... it's really expensive, and the bottle doesn't come with a pump. I mean, if I'm gonna pay $45 for a foundation, come on now. I want ease of access. And I just... I don't know. I was a bit... <laughs> I don't want to say I was more sassy back then, but stubborn, maybe? I didn't want to give in to the hype, so I just never tried out this foundation. But hey, I've got a YouTube channel now. I do this thing called YouTube Made Me Buy It. One of you, I forget who it was, I'm so sorry. I do know that you comment on like all of my videos though, so thank you so much for commenting once again and saying that I should do this for YouTube Made Me Buy It because, like I said, yes I should. <laughs> like, this is the original. So, I'm gonna do that. It got like a million thumbs up, and by a million, I think it was like 10. So there's like 11 of you that want to see this video, so I'm all for that. So, let's go on to Sephora real quick here and see what they have to say about this foundation. The NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. You get an ounce in a bottle, very typical. It is $45, which typical, not typical, depends on the brand, I guess. And this comes, if I counted correctly, in 17 different shades. I personally got Duville, I don't know that I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Fiji to try out. What it is, a glowing satin finish foundation with sheer and buildable coverage. What it does, it enhances without masking your overall natural complexion. I mean, my natural complexion is not good. I would actually rather it masked it, but you know, whatever. The weightless formula hydrates the skin while completely Complexion brightening properties improve skin brightness, radiance, and texture, leaving your skin with a luminous, sensual glow. Oh my goodness, I don't know that I'm ready for that. This is suitable for normal, normal to dry, dry, and very dry skin types. I would say my skin is somewhere between oily, normal, and normal to dry. I've got quite the cocktail going on my face, so I mean, I think it'll be okay. How to use. Warm product with hands. Apply a small amount to the center of the face and then blend outward. Okay, I'm glad I read that. I have to warm it. Now that I am looking at these, I think I'm gonna go with Duville for today. I feel like I have more of a neutral complexion anyways, which is what this one is supposed to cater towards. Fiji is a bit more yellow. So I'm gonna go with Duville and <laughs> keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best here. I think that's it for introductions, so let's just sing the song together, shall we? YouTube made me buy it, and now I'm gonna try it! Yeah! Zoom yawn in. I feel like my skin looks so much worse on camera than it actually is in real life. So basically, what you're seeing is scars, and scars, and scars. This was a healing pimple, but it's mostly healed right now, I think. And then some sad, sad spots. <laughs> This is called I'm moving in a week and I haven't started packing yet. <laughs> Lots of different stuff we'll be able to test this foundation on. A bit of crusty, a bit of scars, and a bit of normal, I guess. My face has been washed, my hands are clean, I have on moisturizer already, I'm going to be putting on a primer in just a couple of seconds, 
and also I will do half of my face with a brush and the other half with the Real Techniques sponge. This is damp, damp, damp. I feel like every other time I've used this in a video, I've said that it's damp, but people don't, I don't know, apparently I didn't say it loud enough. It's damp. Emphasis. Damp. Damp. It is. So. I will be using these on half and half of my face. I just feel like my videos have been getting a lot of hate lately. You're doing this wrong. If you would have done this, it would have turned out better. So you know, you can't complain. I'm doing both of the things. Although someone's gonna say, you really, sh it should have been a beauty blender. I don't have a beauty blender. You guys, I'm sorry. It's starting to get to me. <laughs> all of the hate. It's just so much lately. So much. Oh, I'm gonna try and put that aside. Put it aside, Cassie. Put it aside. Oh, that was a very sexual squirt there, Hourglass. I'm using up the very last bits of this primer. I'm just gonna put this on my face as per usual. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. There's my face, all nice and primed. Here we go. There's the foundation. It's like right in the middle of watery and thick. I mean, it's it's not dripping or anything, but it is a watery consistency. So I am warming this between my fingers. It's so strange, I've never done that before. Um, I'm gonna start on one side of my face. I don't know what this motion is, but um, do we do we do? What's <laughs> that? Okay. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush. Dang. Alright, so that is not sheer to me. And I have heard that about this foundation, that it is a very misleading title. But I think it looks pretty good, right? I think that gave like kind of a medium coverage and it went on really smooth. I don't even feel like I have foundation on my face right now. It feels very lightweight and I think it looks good, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other half of my face with my Real Techniques sponge. So one moment please. As I've said before, I feel like they give exactly the same finish, so voila, voila. I think it looks really nice, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. At the moment, does it look like $45? I'd say it looks like a lot of dollars. So there it is, close up. That just kind of blended really seamlessly into my skin, right? I think it did a good job, like, covering up some dark spots and scars and whatnot, so the only thing, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it looks like it's really emphasizing my pores on the side of my nose, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but I mean, what can I do at this point? Either you're gonna make it a lot better or a lot worse. I'm gonna try and even this out. Unfit. You could put a little bit of water on there. LOL, nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that look today. <laughs> it looks like it didn't emphasize my crusty spots too terribly, and oh my god, yes, I have a mustache. I feel like I've been getting that comment a lot lately, too. You guys, I've always had a mustache. I'm a mammal. So, um, you have one, too. Oh. So when I am reviewing a foundation, I like to see whether or not it plays well with concealers and whatnot because typically I would use a concealer in conjunction with the foundation. So I'm just going to go in and put a little bit of concealer on my under eyes. There you go, it looks like it did a good job playing with the Maybelline. Oh, 
I'm very happy with the way that it looks right now. I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on, do my hair, and put on my street clothes because I've got to go to work. So I will see you all in a second here on YouTube land. Ready? Ding! Alright, so I've got to get going. I am like all over the place today. I... Sorry. My back is itchy. I went ahead and I put translucent powder on half of my face just to see kind of how the foundation performs on its own and then also if you know powder helps out at all so I think it looks good I think you know I, I look like me except for the fact that I totally didn't put on lipstick okay well I'll go fix that later <laughs> here's the foundation with the rest of my makeup it's very hot out today so I'm already starting to get sweaty but um yeah, there you go. I think it looks good as of right now anyways. So like I said, I'm just going to be going to work today. It is my last day, so kind of bittersweet here. I have worked at the same job for all three years that I've been out here in Massachusetts, so <sighs> it will be sad, but we're going to go and get dinner as a little co-worker group afterwards, so it should be a good day. I'm just going to go ahead and get going, and I will just check up with you all on my break at work, so I will see you then. Bye! Hello everyone, I am just checking in real quick. It is currently 7.37 in the evening. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm, it's crazy at work here. But let's see how the foundation is doing. Here's my pores, there's my everything. Enjoy, enjoy. I mean, my forehead is a little shiny, but I think some of that is sweat. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get on with the rest of my night here. I will check in at the very end with you all, but I really don't think there's anything else to report on. I think I'm looking good. So uh, I'm just gonna get back to work here and I will see you all at the end of the night. Hey. Hello everyone! So I just got back from work and going out with my co-workers and whatnot. I'm feeling a lot of bittersweet emotions right now. I loved where I worked. I hated where I worked. Um, that's for sure. But I, I loved the people that I work with. I got my job like a week after I moved here to Massachusetts. So I've been working there for like legit three years straight. And I've known these people basically the whole time for the most part, all of these people. For them to come out and wish me goodbye. And you know, some of them weren't even working tonight and they still came to say goodbye and you know, have drinks and eat and whatnot. They were like a family away from home, you know? When I moved out here to Massachusetts, I didn't have family or friends out here. So they were really the first people that I got to know and really connect with. And I've gotten close to some of them and it's just, it's really sad to say goodbye and you know, like, there's like no guarantee that we'll ever see each other again. I don't know, I mean, I guess working customer service, you know, um, you have to put up with a lot of crap from customers and whatnot, and so you really do get close to your coworkers, because, you know, you're, you're dealing with the same crap as them, and, you know, I don't know, I just, I got very lucky with the people that I work with, I really connected with them, and, um, yeah, I'm really gonna miss them, so, um, some of them watch my videos, so, hi guys. <laughs> it's kind of like here on YouTube, you know, everything comes full circle. I was talking about this morning how I've been getting a lot of hate on my videos lately. It's all better because of the, the good people that are there, you know, like, yeah, there's hate and bad things happen, but you've got the support of your friends and family there to, like, lift you back up and I feel that way with you guys too. There are so many of you that are just so good to me on my channel and um, you know you make it worth it. It doesn't matter that there are bad people that are mean to me. It's the same way with where I was working so um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna miss them a lot. It's <laughs> myself together and I'm gonna rub all of this foundation off and this review is gonna go to poo um <laughs> so 
Okay, stop crying, stop crying. Here's the foundation. Please pardon my bloodshot eyes. Um, there you go. I mean, I don't think it looks bad, right? Like, it hung, hung in there. I think it definitely caked a little funny on my chin. So there's that. Um, my nose, you know, kind of kind of caked up in the nose nose creases there. I haven't had to use any blotting papers or anything, which is kind of awesome, and I still think that it it looks decent. I don't think I'm gonna go out and buy this foundation or anything. I mean, it definitely wasn't $45 worth, you know? But I do think it's a nice foundation. I mean, it's just gonna be one of those things, if it works for you, great, but I, d I don't think it's worth the hype that it gets here on YouTube, honestly. I think there might be a reason why that hype died down eventually, but um, I don't think it's a terrible foundation by any stretch of the means. I just don't think I would ever spend $45 on it. There are other foundations that I would spend my money on. I'm sorry, I feel like this review has been like all over the place today. I hope it was still helpful in its own little way. Like I said, I know some of you really wanted to see this video from me, so I hope it was helpful for you. And just in general, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're all doing well. I'm kind of a big emotional jumbled mess right now. By the time you see this video, it's, you know, I'm probably already going to be back in Minnesota. But it's strange, you know, this, uh, this chapter in my life is over. So um, I'm just kind of dealing with all of that. Like I said, I hope you guys are all well. I hope the review was helpful. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!